morning, Soleil. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Sister Soleil, good morning to you. Hallelujah. morning. Psalms chapter 31 reads, Lord, I trust in you alone. Don't let my enemies defeat me. Rescue me because you are the God who always does what is right. Answer quickly when I cry to you. Bend low and hear my whispered plea. Be for me a great rock of safety from my foes yes you are my rock of safety from my foes you are my rock and my fortress honor your name by leading me out of pearl pull me from the trap my enemies have set for me for you alone are strong enough into your hand I commit my spirit you have rescued me O God who keeps his promises yes I worship only you how you hate all those who worship idols those imitation gods I am radiant with joy because of your mercy for you have listened to my troubles and you have seen the crisis in my soul you have not handed me over to my enemy but have given me open ground which to maneuver Oh, Lord, have mercy on me in my anguish. My eyes are red from weeping. My health is broken for sorrow. I am pinning away with grief. My years are shortened, drained away because of sadness. My sins have sapped my strength. I stood with sorrow and with shame. I am scorned by all my enemies and even more my neighbors and friends. They dread meeting me and look the other way when I go by. I am forgotten like a dead man, like a broken, discarded pot. I heard lies about me, the slanders of my enemies. Everywhere I looked, I was afraid, for they were plotting against my life. But I'm trusting you. Oh, Lord, I said, you alone are my God. My times are in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Let your favor shine again upon your servant. Save me just because you're so kind. Don't disgrace me, Lord, by not replying when I call to you for aid. But let the wicked be shamed by what they do trust in. Let them lie silently in their graves. Their lying lips quieted at last. The lips of those arrogant men who are accusing honest men of evil deeds. Oh, how great is your goodness to those who publicly declare that you will rescue them. For you have stored up great blessings for those who trust and reverence you hallelujah hallelujah that psalms 31 there's a little bit more here i'll continue to finish reading it hide your loved ones in the shelter of your presence safe beneath your hands safe from all conspiring men blessed is the lord for he has shown me that his never failing love protects me like the walls of a fort. I spoke too hastily when I said the Lord has deserted me. For you listened to my plea and answered me. Oh, love the Lord. All of you who are his people, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him. So cheer up. Take courage if you are depending on on the Lord. That was Psalms 31. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. We assemble every morning. I thank you guys for faithfully joining. 
as we pray with one another and for one another regarding all the things that life has thrown at us. I'm grateful this morning that the Lord has saw fit to give us another chance, another opportunity, another day to lift his name on high, to serve him and to be the light that he's called us to be. Hallelujah. For anyone that's new to this channel, it's really simple. We pray. That's the only reason we're here for. We wake up in the morning and we pray with one another. I pray that you have your own personal time with God throughout the day, whether it's after this, before this, somewhere at the lunch hour or late at night, but make sure that you are also having some private time with the Lord. Corporate time is good. It's, it's, it's healthy. It's healthy to have a group of believers all going through similar things and praying with one another and for one another, but it is also very, very healthy for you to just sit with the Lord by yourself in his presence and allow him to teach you, show you, be there for you and guide you. Hallelujah. Father, we come this morning thanking you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. We come thanking you for another day. We come thanking you, Lord, that you have not given up on us. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for everything that you, you are and who you are in our lives. I thank you, Lord, for your resurrection power. I thank you, Lord, for your safety. I thank you for rescuing us. Lord, I, I thank you so much that you haven't rejected us. I thank you that your mercy and your grace endures forever. Lord, thank you. Hmm. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, you are forever worthy to be praised. Come on, let's just take about 30 seconds in your own space. Yes, Yahshua, Yahweh. Take 30 seconds and just thank him. Yeah, just thank him. I'm going to give you some time. Let's, let's create a, an atmosphere of holiness and for his righteousness. His mercy. I hear you. I hear you in the spirit. Just thank him. Look, my heart is still beating all on its own. My brain is still functioning. That's just some gray. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I thank you for the gray. I thank you for being able to age gracefully, Lord. I thank you. That I can still see a little bit. I thank you, Lord, that I was able to get up and walk this morning without any aches and pains. I thank you, Lord. I still have a job. I thank you. For giving me a job. I thank you, Lord, for a home. Cars, food in the pantry. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. You didn't have to do any of it. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Thank you. Come on. Ten more seconds. Worship him. Worship him. Magnify his name. His name is Y-H-W-H. -H. I remember my sign language. That name is above all names. That name is greater than any name, anything that comes your way. Y-H-W-H. -H. I am that I am. The great I am. The wonderful counselor. The almighty God. The king of kings. The Lord of lords. Elohim. El Shaddai. Rapha. He is all that we need. That name. Come on. Get a magnifying glass out. And lift that name up. He is magnified beyond anything that's in your life. Thank you, Lord. You're bigger than my troubles. You're bigger than my pain. You, you're mightier than all my trials. You're, you're greater than my headaches and my, my trauma. Lord, you're, you're greater than my past, present, or future. Your name alone is worthy to be praised. Come on, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Hallelujah. 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 Yah. Y H W H. Yah. Way. Yah. Yo. De. Va. Hey. If you sound those syllables out in the Hebrew, it's Yo. De. Va. Hey. We say Yahweh or Yo. Ho. Va. He knows what his name is, whether you 
say it in Spanish, Italian, Greek, Swahili. He knows who he is. He's the only God. He is the living God, the only living God out there. And that's who we serve. And so there's no mistake about it for those who are watching us this morning. His son is Yahshua. He only had one child, only child he had. Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one gave his life for us. I'm grateful this morning that he looked down and said, there's no way man can make it without me. And he sacrificed his life. He came down here because he was righteous, died. And now he's given every last one of us an opportunity to experience life everlasting. Yeah. So all of our hope, all of our joy, all of our strength, the love that we receive, the peace that we receive can only come from the Father and His Son and He gives you a deposit for heaven. That deposit is the Holy Spirit. He said, hold on to, to just a little bit of me, all of me, until you can make it up there. And so He fills us with His Spirit and that's what we're invoking this morning. We're filled with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God helps us to live right, do right, say right. When thoughts come into our mind to do wrong, the Holy Spirit reminds us of all things. When the, when the devil tries to come and, and discourage us and defeat us and tell us who we are and aren't and what we won't get, the, the Holy Spirit encourages us and reminds us of all things. When, when I try to get sad and lonely and go to that pity place, the Holy Spirit strengthens me on the inside and says, it's going to be all right. You have a future. This is temporary. This is temporary. Father, I thank you. I'm still worshiping. I'm still worshiping. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for Ruish HaKadosh. In Hebrew, Holy Spirit is Ruish HaKadosh. Yeah, Paraclete, the comforter. Yeah, he's comforting you every morning. He comforts you in the afternoon. He comforts you in the evening. He says it's going to be all right. You should hear this, the quietness of the Holy Spirit saying, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Father, I thank you again this morning for your mercy, your love, your grace. I thank you for watching over us as we slept last night. I thank you for your son, Jesus. And I thank you for all of the saints that you brought our way. I pray this morning, Lord, that as we go into prayers for one another, that we have a discerning spirit, that the gift of miracles, the gift of faith, the gift of knowledge, the gift of healing would be manifested today in everyone's life. I pray, Lord, in this holy place, this holy ground, that you would have your way. In Jesus' name. Again, welcome to Morning Prayer. We do this every Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to about 6.45 until the Lord says the same. Good morning to all of our prayer warriors. Every last one of you I'm grateful for. Shalay, Jamie, Lisa, Elizabeth, Miss Duvan, Monica. Thank you. Ebony, Trina, good morning. Let's go. Mary Lou, good morning. Hallelujah. Miss Sandra. Good morning to everybody, Crystal and Sam and Philippa. Lord, thank you for your, your children. Hallelujah. Jay, good morning to you. Miss Flora. Hallelujah. I say good morning to you, or Isa. Hallelujah. Testify to the fire missions. God bless you, China and everybody. God, this is amazing. Lord, I thank you, Deborah. So Antoinette puts prayer, let's all pray, let's start our prayers this morning. She says, prayer for strength and let go of the pain that's holding me back. So often, so often we get reminded, we remind ourselves or something happens with well, the pain from the past tries to haunt our present and destroy our future. And I'm here to tell you this morning that God has so much power he has a lot of power and he doesn't want anything holding you back. So for Sister Antoinette, I need everyone directing your prayers to her. And if that's you also, how we do this, if you know that's you also, just say, Lord, that's me. I'm also dealing with some pain that I have not let go. I'm, I'm dealing with some memories 
some trauma that happened in my life, some PTSD that tries to get me sometimes. Lord, I pray for Sister Antoinette and everybody else here who's dealing with some pain, some painful memories. I stand against the painful memories. I come against them. I I absolutely denounce it. I'm not for it. In Jesus' name, devil, you're going to stop with the with the reminders and I speak the peace of God over Antoinette. Nope. Lord, continue to strengthen her, build her up, Lord. Remind her of who she is in you. Remind her who she is in you. Antoinette, you are the righteousness of God. I don't care what they said, what they did, how often they did it, how long ago they did it. It will not separate you from what God has for you. He still loves you. He still wants you in his life. He has every intention to make things better. This is just a beginning. This is just a place in time. That was a moment in time. And in Jesus name, I'm going to take that pain if you let me have it, says the Lord. I'll, I'll take it and hold on to it if you would abide in me and my word abide in you. If you would cast your cares on me because I care for you. Lord, don't don't let this hold her back. In Jesus name, I speak the peace of God over that situation. Lord, let her let it go. Lord, show her how to let it go. Holy Spirit of God, heal. 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 Jesus name. She said, call me Cat. Good morning, Sister Cat. Hallelujah. Whew. Father Lord. Antoinette, walk in it. Walk like you delivered. Walk like it don't bother you. Wave at them. Say hi. Put a smile on your face. Because God said, I'll handle it from here. I'll handle it from here. Everybody who's ever messed with you, anybody who's ever done you wrong, anyone who's mistreated you, God knows. God knows. I've never seen the righteous forsaken ever, ever, ever. I've never, ever seen the righteous forsaken. Hallelujah. Jamie said, can you pray for my mom, her lungs? She's having a hard time breathing. I took her prednisone. Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, work through that prednisone, Lord. Lord, strengthen her lungs, free up her lungs, all the tissue, blood cells, the arteries, every organ in her body. You will come into alignment with the word of God. Jamie, what's your mom's name? What's mom's name? Father, we lift her mom up right now. I believe by faith, Lord, that you are a healer still. I know you're a healer. I know that the gift of healing is amongst this group. And so we speak the healing power of God into her lungs. Yeah. By the stripes of Christ, she's healed. No weapon formed against her will prosper. She can do all things through Christ that strengthens her. It's in Christ that Jamie's mom lives. She moves and she has her being. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, we tell sickness and disease, infirmity and pain. We tell disease, leave, leave. Shortness of breath, leave. Stop, just stop. Lord, give her a full, I mean a full breath of air in her lungs through the power of the Holy Spirit right now, right now. Come on, saints, believe with me. Do you believe with me? This is for Jamie's mom. In Jesus' name, lungs restored, lungs healed. Father, I thank you right now in advance for healing her lungs. I thank you, Lord, for for filling her up with breath. I thank you, Lord, for restoring her lungs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brandy said, me too. Chrissy said, yes, me for that pain. Is that that pain? Yeah, in Jesus' name. Let it go like a helium balloon in the sky. It's gone. I don't even see it no more. It don't bother me. I'm moving on. I will not allow, Brandy, Chrissy, those painful memories to manipulate and sabotage my future. I say it another way. 
I will not allow something that was said to me in five minutes or something that happened to me a year ago ruin the next 10 years. What someone said to me in a 30 second conversation to control my full week. Devil, you are a lie. You don't have that much power over me. Say it. Devil, you do not have that much power over me. That person does not have that kind of power over me. I don't care who they were, what they said. We're better than that because of Christ Jesus. We're stronger than that because of Christ Jesus, who the Son sets free. It's absolutely free all the way. Indeed, no questions about it. It's a choice. And at this moment in time, I'm choosing to allow the Holy Spirit to fall on me. I'm choosing to allow the Holy Spirit to free me. I choose to allow the Spirit of God to set me free from all my bondages, all my handcuffs, all my accusations, everything that was pointed at me. I choose to be free. I'm righteous. I'm, I'm the righteousness of God. I'm, I'm holy in God. I don't care what they said about me. I don't care what they thought about me. <laughs> I don't care what my past shows. I don't care what you look up on the internet. I know who I am in Christ Jesus. And I'm free. For anyone who has ever been abused, that's a tough mountain to climb. But I'm here to tell you this morning, there's freedom from that abuse. There's freedom from the memories of the abuse. I hear the Lord saying, I'll rescue you. I'm here to rescue you from your abuse. Physical, mental, emotional. I, I'm a rescuer of a, from abusive relationships, abusive parents, abusive past. You may be in an abusive relationship right now. I don't know who you are. You don't have to put it all in the chat. You can send it privately. But God said, I will rescue. I hear the word rescue. That's what we read this morning in Psalms 31 and Right now, I'm hearing God say someone's been abused and they just need to be rescued emotionally. You know what a rescue is? It's when someone goes in and pulls you out from that darkness, pulls you out of that dark place, pulls you out of that pain. God says right now, right now, right now in this moment, the Holy Spirit is ready to pull you out, yank you out. And here's how it's going to happen. I don't know who this is for, Holy Spirit. I'm just being obedient to what I'm hearing. What I feel my spirit is saying right now. If you need rescuing from, from abuse, you, 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 st mm. you, you, st you still feel like you're in bondage. You still feel afraid. You, you're not safe. You, you're dealing with the insecurity or the abandonment of that abuse. Come to this altar right now. Say, Ken, that's me. I, I need I need full rescuing. I, I need full healing right now. I I sense the Holy Spirit getting ready to help someone this morning. Shalay says me. Brandy said I, I've been abused. Oh, Lord have mercy. Who else? Who else? I hear the Spirit saying, I'm going to rescue you today. This is the last day. <laughs> this is the last day that you're going to be the victim. <laughs> I feel heavy in my heart for you. I, I, I sense the spirit of the Lord getting ready to rescue. I just hear the word rescue right now. I'm, I see this spiritual ladder going up. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of flights of, of, of stairs. You you didn't think anybody could, could come get you that high. You you didn't feel like no one knew, no one cared, no you were way up there suffering by yourself, and the Holy Spirit is saying, I'm I'm coming to get you this morning. Who else? Ah I feel the heaviness of your abuse. I I don't know what the Lord is doing to me right now. Oh. Uh. Is it any, is it anyone else? This this is a moment. 
how I felt. This is one of those moments in our prayer time that unique. God always does something different. And if you have a prayer request, I, I promise I'll try to get to it. But right now, we're, we're going to pray for those that are in abusive relationships. We're in abusive relationships, still tormented by the abuse. And we're going to pray a special prayer for you today. I need everybody respecting this holy place. This is a safe place. These people are vulnerable. We're vulnerable. And the Holy Spirit is here. I have Chalet. I have Brandy. I have Chris. I have Antoinette. I have Diamond Daisy. I have Shannon Allison. Chrissy said my son Marcus cut me off and his dad. Deborah Carr said me. Vanessa said for the damage that we've caused others. Candy Watson said me. Father, father, the abuse is unnecessary. I, 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 I'm getting ready. I feel the spirit of the Lord getting ready. He's already probably working on you. because. Hmm. Monique Binder. And I also write your names down. I take your names and put them on my, my prayer journal. So I'm just screenshotting right now. Rhonda Kerr. Hmm. Chrissy said, break general so curses off my son and family. Sandra said, I've been abused my whole life. Sam Marie, my childhood abuse and emotional abuse. Ruth said her, her daughter, Angel, protect them from abuse and control. God have mercy. Here's the prayer. Shannon said my whole life, Chris, my whole life. For, for, this is the first thing I need you to do. And I, I, I'm going to state this up front. All I know is God. I know pastoral counseling. I know the word of God. I'm not a clinical psychologist, so I'm putting that up front. But here's what we're getting ready to do. I need you to take a moment. I need you to put the phone down or hold the phone in one hand. I need you to close your eyes and I need you to meditate. Ah. This is going to be painful for a moment, but there's freedom on the backside of this. This is going to be hurtful. As we get this deliverance, yeah, we're getting ready to have a deliverance service. You're getting ready to be rescued. You're getting ready to be delivered. You're getting ready to be rescued. I need you to go to that place. Holy Spirit of the living God. Show them the root, the genesis T take them to that place. I need you to meditate on that place where the abuse began. The, the first time that someone hit you, said something, hurt you. We, we, we have to go back and take that back. We, we got to go back to that moment or moments and declare victory in Jesus name over that moment. Listen to me. Listen to me. We're going to stand up for ourselves through the power of the Holy Spirit and take that moment back. Take those moments back. I hear the Spirit of God saying, all strength and all power is His. It, it, the strength wasn't in the abuser. No, we're getting ready to take that back. Devil, in that moment, in those instances where... I was abused, where I was hurt, where I was scorned, where I was talked about, where I was lied on, Lord. In those moments where I was harassed, I was manipulated, I was molested, I was, I was put in a place where I wasn't safe. Father, rescue me from my past. Rescue me from that moment, Lord. I know you saw me. I don't know why you allowed it. Yeah, we're being honest with God this morning. I do not know why that moment happened in my life but I I humble myself at this time I, I come before you as honest as I know how asking you 
to look upon me. All that trouble, all that pain, all those enemies that were there to destroy me. Lord, take me up out of it. Free me, free me, free me. Protect me, shield me. I thank you, Lord, for, for not letting it lead to death. I thank you, Lord, that it didn't lead me. And I'm not in a, a place that I shouldn't be right now. I'm here. I'm here grateful. But Father, all the emotional pain that it caused, free me. All of the PTSD that it caused, free me. Lord, in my mind, in my neurons, in my pathways, Restructure those moments Restructure those memories Lord They can be memories Lord But they don't have to be painful Lord I'm asking you Holy Spirit To free me Say it Lord free me From that moment Those moments Lord Just free me here emotionally Peace of God Hmm feel the spirit of the Lord retraining synapses pathways I, I, I feel the spirit of the Lord telling you right now that that past no longer has control over your presence your present I, I feel the spirit of the Lord ministering to somebody in a way right now that I can't Holy Spirit of God heal may the healing power of God Transfer Yes thank you Mary Lou for your testimony May the healing Power of God right now Transfer Mary Lou stretch your Hands to these These good folks these, these saints Of God and may the Healing power of God transfer To your mind That's where the battle is that's where the memories Are that's, that's where the hurt is Contained it's, it's that dark place That's that dark place and I speak freedom over the darkness. I, I speak freedom over the hurt. You are no longer abused. You're no longer a victim. In Jesus' name, say it. Say it out loud. I'm no longer a victim. No, nope, I'm no longer abused. I'm not abused in Christ Jesus. I'm loved in Christ Jesus. Say this. My past will not define me. Say it. Say it to yourself. Let your spirit hear yourself say, I'm better than that. I'm better than my past. I'm better than the abuse. And that does not define who I was or who I am or who I'm going to be. Say it again. My, my past doesn't define me. The abuse does not define who I am. I'm righteous in God's eyes. I'm clothed. In his righteousness I'm giving you a robe right now For Jesus' righteousness I want you to step into this robe Come on Put one arm in Put the other arm in Bundle it up Tie a knot in the front And feel his love Feel his righteousness Ha huh. Yeah that spirit of heaviness That spirit of Dread Spirit of darkness you didn't love yourself you you did not even like looking at yourself in the mirror devil you are a liar devil you are a liar devil you are a liar come on and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and tie up and bind up these final few spirits that have been haunting you every last one of you that that said it was me Oh, Mary Lou says she heard chains falling. I hear them too. We're not done. Every person who was abused in their marriage, abused as someone said, Candy said, the black sheep of the family. ISIS, thank you for praying. Helen Washington said, my granddaughter's in an abusive relationship. Sheen Queen said, keep me in your prayers. Here's what I need you to say. Here's what we're getting ready to bind. We're getting ready to bind the devil. What this means in the deliverance service is that we're literally taking the, the remnants, whatever evil spirits, fallen angels, principalities that are still hovering in your lives. We're getting ready to tell them to leave. Get off the porch. You're not welcome. You have to say this. I can pray for you, but 
You have to pray with, with us. So as I pray, I need you to repeat these things. I need everybody that's on here praying also. All the names. I'll say the names again. If you didn't hear the name, may the Spirit of the Lord have you attach at least one name. One name. I need somebody. Pray. If you can pray for two or three, pray for two or three. Write these names down somewhere. Do something. But if we get ready to pray, and as I pray against these evil spirits, I need you to call these people's names out and say, Lord, deliver them from and then the spirit that we're going to bind. Again, we're praying this morning. You go back up just a little bit. Oh, I feel deliverance. God says, you're not a, I hear the Lord saying, I'm re you're rescued. You're rescued. You're rescued. No, you're not a victim anymore. Quit telling yourself that. Quit feeling that way. Quit putting yourself in that pity party place. In Jesus name, Shalay. Brandy, Chris, Antoinette, Diamond Daisy, Shannon Allison, in Jesus' name, Chrissy Love, Deborah Carr, Vanessa Gamez, Candy Watson. Come on. These are the names of folks that God has put in our path this morning to pray for. Monique Binders, in Jesus' name, Miss Sandra. In Jesus' name, Sam Marie, Ruth, and for Angel, Rebecca, in Jesus' name. Father, here's what we're going to pray. We bind, we come against, we stand against, we cancel the assignment. Come on, say this. I cancel the assignment of abuse, neglect, rejection, Abandonment over my life. Say it again. I stand against, I cancel, I bind, I stop every evil spirit that's been assigned to my life in the area of abuse, rejection, abandonment, discouragement. Those spirits have brought on depression. Those spirits of abuse have, have brought on friends of anxiety. And I stand against you right now. You no longer have power over me. You evil, ugly spirits, you. And I take back my peace. I take back my joy. I take back my future. I take back the love of who I am in Christ Jesus. I'm beautiful in God. I'm, I'm strong in Christ Jesus. I'm a warrior of God. I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Not even my past. Not even the abuse. Not even the pain. I take back my memories. I take back the joy. I take back my childhood. I had good childhood memories. I had good parts of my, my 20s, my 30s. And I take all the good back. And I'm not going to allow the abuse to ruin the memories, the perspective of what was. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Come on, let's keep praying. You spirits of corruption, you spirits of physical abuse, mental abuse, you evil spirits of emotional abuse, you spirits of, of offense, cruelty, bitterness, you, you spirits of animosity and bitterness, unforgiveness. Yeah, we stand against you too. Oh, this is this is where the deliverance is getting ready to come. And Holy Spirit of God, I, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you. Move in this space right here. Say this with me. And I pray that the Holy Spirit gives you the strength and the power for full deliverance right here. Lord, give me the strength. Repeat after me. Come on. This is probably the most important part of this deliverance. Lord, give me the strength to forgive my abuser. Lord, give me the strength to let it go. Lord, give me the strength 
to love that person the same way you love them. Lord, give me the strength to show mercy and grace. Yeah, they hurt me. They did some things. They said some things. They shunned me. They accused me. They hurt me. But Father, give me strength. Doesn't mean you have to take them out to eat. Doesn't mean that you have to buy them Christmas gifts. But Holy Spirit of God, take away the bitterness, take away the shame, take away the guilt. <laughs> There's guilt. You're not guilty. You didn't do anything wrong. You did not do anything wrong. It's not your fault. I bind that spirit. I bind the spirit of guilt and shame. I come against a spirit of it was my fault. I put myself in it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was an attack. That was an attack. The devil said, I'm going to ruin her life. I'm going to put her in a place where she'll never serve God again. I'm going to put her in a spot. The devil, you are a lie. You failed in your mission. Because who the son says free is free right now. God says, I hear the Lord saying your rescue is, is, is here. You're this close from rescue. He got his, got his, reached the top of that ladder and he's put his hand out. He wants to rescue you. And all you have to do is stand your hand of forgiveness out. That's the last part. Mm. Oh, that's the that's that's the last part of this rescue. The devil's been bound. He has no more power. He, he you'll never be abused like that again. So the abuse, the spirit of abuse is gone. We bind the memories of it. We went back to that place. We taken back our childhood. We took back our 20s, our 30s. We got peace about who we were. We're beautiful in Christ. We know who we are in Christ. We aren't what the devil said we were. Yeah, we're not who we thought we were. We, we are the righteousness of God in this moment. And now all you have to do is forgive. And forgiveness is a choice. Forgiveness is an opportunity where you say it's not a big deal. Bygones be bygones. I'm moving on. Water on the bridge. I'm not going to hold you to that. Here's what forgiveness is. I don't. There's no payback. There's no nothing you are owed. That's between you and God. Me. That's between you and God at this point. How you treated me, what you said to me, how you shunned me. You physically abusing me, you mentally abusing me, that's between you and God. You got problems, and I forgive you, and I'm praying for you. That's, that's on you. You got some things that you need to deal with. I love you, and I pray that God helps you. Ah. Lord, forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lord, forgive us of our sins as, as the same way as I forgive people who've sinned against me, who hurt me, who, who put me in this situation. I forgive them. I forgive them. Say it. Say it out loud. I forgive them. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Say it. Antoinette, say it. Come on. I need everybody to say it. Chris, say it out loud. Shannon, say it. I'm moving on. Sam, Ruth, say it. I'm moving on. I don't care what your husband did or say it. I forgive you. I'm moving on. I'm not, I'm not going to let my blessings be held up because of unforgiveness. I'm not going to let my future be put on pause because of bitterness. I'm, I'm not going to allow my blessings not to flow because of something that happened 30 years ago. I don't want the next 30 years to be delayed because of the last 15. No, devil, you thought you were slick. You thought you you had a, a <laughs> some real estate in my life. No, I'm taking that real estate back. I'm putting a down payment down on my blessing right now. Ooh, that was a word of knowledge. God said, take the real estate back. Take the land back. Take the land back. Put a down payment down. Your down payment is forgiveness. Oh, put a down payment on your blessing right now. Be delivered. Be completely delivered. Hmm. When you see him, when you see her, when you're around that situation, here's how you're going to know you're delivered. You'll be able to be in the same space and it won't bother you because you know God has you. 
This is no longer about him being because you're not. I'm not. A, I'm not a victim. I got a testimony now. I got a testimony. I went through a test, and now I got a testimony for others to hear how God brought me out, how He saved me, how He delivered me, how I have a future. For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you. That it wasn't to hurt you. That wasn't the initial goal. It wasn't to, to put you in a place of despair and disgust and, and fault for your life. It's for hope in a future. Yeah, you're going to have trials and tribulations on this earth. But be of good cheer, the Lord said, because I've overcome them. All your pain, all your hurt, all your misery, all those dark places you were in. God said, I took them on the cross. I took every last one of your issues on that cross and I freed you here's how we're going to close this deliverance and we're going to have to get out of here I apologize to anyone who joined today's prayer needed a request for something other than this is just where the Holy Spirit took us send us send, send my wife and I uh, a message Skin, you didn't get to my prayer this morning I understand it we were praying for those that were abused but here's my prayer. I need prayer over this. Just send me a message. Just send me a message. I, I will pray for you. We will pray for you. But for those that receive their deliverance this morning, this is the final step in your rescue. Say this out loud. I'm rescued. I've been rescued. Say it. Say it. I've been rescued. Say it. Holy Spirit, thank you for rescuing me. Holy Spirit of God, thank you for your peace. Holy Spirit of God, thank you for getting me out of that place that I was in 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, a week ago. I've been rescued. Come on, say it. Say it. Come on. I don't even put it in the chat. I want you to, to let the world know you've been rescued. Yeah. You got to believe it. You got to know it. You got to walk in it. You are righteousness in Christ from this point forward. No weapon formed against you will prosper. You can do all things going forward. Nope. 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 Not going to play the victim. You know why? Because he freed me from my pain. He freed me from the abuse. He, he's given me peace. And here's the final piece. Because now you've, you've gone back to that place. You've taken the real estate back. You've taken back the memories. You've taken back your childhood. Yeah, and, and then we put on the righteousness of God. You know who you are in Christ Jesus. You're free. He loves you. We've forgiven. We've moved on. It's, it, I'm done with it. I'm not even. It's not even a big deal. I'm done. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm better than that. I got so much in store for me. I'm not going back to that place. It's a memory. It's no longer painful. And now we're going to do this. We're getting ready to pray the word of God of peace over your life. In Jesus name, I'm going to read some scriptures to you and I want the word of God to just saturate you. I want it to fill you up. Say it. I'm rescued. You keep saying I'm rescued and I'm going to speak the word of God into your life. Isaiah 26 and three, you will keep in perfect peace. Everyone whose mind is steadfast and trusts you. Ephesians 2 14 for Jesus himself is our peace who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier dividing the wall of hostility. Isaiah 26 and 12, the Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Philippians 4 through 9, whatever you've learned or received or heard from me or seen of me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Colossians 3.15, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Philippians 4 through 6, don't be anxious or worry about anything. Don't worry about your past. Don't think about the, the memories. But in everything, by prayer, petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. We present our request to God this morning. And the peace of God which passes all understanding has guard, it has guarded your heart this morning. I feel the spirit of God has rescued you. He is guarding your heart now from the pain. He is guarding your heart from the memories. Oh, the Lord has done something to you. Neurology, neurology, your neurology. 
I, I, I feel it in the spirit. The Lord did some surgery this morning and he's redirecting how you think about it. He's redirecting how you feel about it. He's taking those emotions, those feelings and said, I'm with you. It's all good. Can anyone testify this morning? I'm going to read a few more scriptures. Can someone please testify in the chat that they received their deliverance this morning? That They don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel like it. Can anyone testify and let the other saints know that I don't feel like that anymore, Ken? I, I'm free. I, when I really think about it and the goodness of God and everything he's done for me, he rescued me this morning. Put it in the chat. Yeah, Daisy said... I don't I don't feel so heavy anymore. Hallelujah. Come on, we testify now. Now we're getting ready to go back into worship where we started. Come on, who else feels that the spirit of God just feel their body, feel their minds. And listen, I'll, I'll say this for some of you, for some of you, I'll, if you don't feel that way, it's it's okay. Send me a, a message. Some people's hurt and pain It might be a process We may need to to tarry a little bit more On some of the things you've been through But for those who've been delivered this morning Testify Please This is the one time I'm begging you Put it in the chat Let others know I, I felt the spirit of the Lord Free me this morning Tiana Park said I do Tamani said I do Testimony I hope I said your name right who else? Elizabeth Ruby Caster said, I felt it. I received my deliverance this morning. Father, thank you. Layla Rook Sky said, I have perfect peace now. Antoinette said, I'm free. Yeah, I believe it. I'm going to walk in it. Huh? Sandra said, I'm not feeling that anymore. He just rescued me. He saved me. Trina said, I'm. I received my deliverance. I ain't, yeah, I'm not bothered by that anymore. I'm not going to let that hinder me. Who else? Charlene said, I'm free. I'm rescued. Who else is rescued? Lord, you rescued me. <laughs> you got that big old ladder, came way up there and rescued me. You stuck your hand out and pulled me out of that mire, out of that clay, out of those painful, darkful places. Charlene said, I'm free. Ha <laughs> ha. Rhonda Kerr said, I feel a lightness. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for going to that dark place and pulling us out. Dream Girl said, I, I received my deliverance this morning. Lord, thank you. Who else? We got to get out of here. Antoinette said, I don't feel heavy anymore. Shalay said, I'm free indeed. Hallelujah. Tiana said, I was delivered last night. Praise the Lord. Freedom. Brian said, I'm free indeed. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Here's how we're going to close the prayer. Philippa, thank you. Lord, I thank you for this time. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your spirit. I pray right now over everybody who's assembled here today, Lord, that you would go before them. Father, do not allow. We're asking. So we can ask. We can seek. We can knock. We're asking this morning that you cover us today. You would hide us today, that you would rescue us today. Lord, keep us from all hurt, harm, danger, accidents, tragedies, disasters, devastation, mishaps, misunderstanding. Lord, give us favor with our bosses and with our directors and our leads. Lord, give us your anointing. Give us your spirit move on, on this earth through us. May we be the hands and feet of who you are, Jesus. Lord, manifest your righteousness and your holiness and your goodness in us. Spirit of the living God, have your way in our life today. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and we believe by faith that we've been rescued today. Everyone said, hallelujah. Listen, have a wonderful rest of your day. If I did not get to your prayer, just send it to me. For everyone else, we'll see you in the morning at 6 a.m. right here. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you.